I'm Brick Johnson, and I'm a life coach for the Life Coach School, and we're just going to get right to it. There is a myth that the entire world has, and that is that Black people are inherently inferior. It is an overarching belief that has been around for a long time. As a Black woman myself and as a Black woman who coaches, I know we take it upon ourselves to disprove that myth in our daily lives and we feel the pressure of not proving that myth correct. That's why I titled this opting out. The one thing that every black woman should consider the price of opting in, which is the price of feeling like we have to, as black women, to disprove the stereotype. This is a very simple model. I'm a black woman at my job, thought, they think I'm not gonna be good, so I have to be better. The feeling that comes with that thought is pressure. My actions that I take overdo and overthink. The result, disconnect from myself and others, and I'm exhausted. Now, I wanna go through why I'm asking us to opt out. This is opting in. I have to be, notice I have to be better. If we're working with that model, then we don't ask for help. We don't share our weaknesses. We may or may not take it to coaching because we don't want to tell you our ugly because we don't want to prove the stereotype right. This model is working. And therefore, it keeps us not even getting the help that we want because we're opting in to this stereotype that I say we opt out of. I don't know about you guys, but every woman that I know, especially Black woman, has had the talk of, you know, you got to be better. We have had that talk that has been passed on from generation to generation. And it was true. It was so true. And it served us at that time. But right now, it's not serving us. What our parents were telling us, what our grandparents told us, the way we've done it is our actions controlled how people thought of us. We've been trying to act our way to get people to think of us differently, to disprove the stereotype that we're inherently inferior. These are the thought loop errors of this. I'm gonna do all this, I'm gonna stay late, I'm gonna work over, I'm gonna take the assignments I don't wanna do, I'm gonna get the degree I really don't want, I, I don't have time for, I'm gonna get my master's, I'm gonna get my PhD. These are all the thought loop errors. Actions don't control Fs, actions don't control As, actions don't control thoughts. When I say opt out, what I'm saying is, it's okay to be a C in someone else's model. My actions do nothing but go in the C line. That's the best I can ever do. And what they think, feel, and how they act is totally up to them. And we can give them back their model. We can opt out. You stay clean in your model and you give everybody back their model. We don't have anything to prove or disprove.